all right guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video as you might have seen in the title we are going to rank all assassin's creed protagonists by their ability in stealth so a few things that i want to get out first is of course you know the youtube thing like subscribe all that you know like the video subscribe and all and also uh, not every protagonist is on this list Everyone who has starred in a mainline Assassin's Creed game is in here, but the Chronicles ones aren't. Or anyone in Transmedia isn't. And also, you have this category down here which just says not even gonna touch that. So any protagonists who are either repeated, like Ezio is, I'm ranking Ezio as just one character, so Ezio is repeated, he's in here. And anyone like Clay who we didn't really get to play as, and also Deimos for some reason is here, so I put him here and any of the three modern day protagonists from Black Flag onwards, they are all here. So yeah, all that said, I have not ordered this list in any way. We'll just get to each character in the order they are currently in. They are all shuffled randomly. Let's get on with it. Now let's start with Aruale. Huh. So in terms of stealth, he's actually fairly good with stealth. He has a good tool set. He does have some missions where he's stealthy. I'm not going to put him S tier, like I'm gonna, not going to say he's the best, I'm just going to say he's good. He's one of the good ones. So I'm going to say he's good. Next we have Altair. Yeah, he's going right up there. So now you might be saying, hey, uh, his game didn't exactly have many stealth mechanics to speak of. But the thing is, the way Altair conducts his missions, like one of the most important parts of a stealth game is gathering information. Now, yes, that part was repetitive in a Sanskrit one, but that's not what we are talking about. As a character, because he was trying to redeem himself, the thing, he went into the city, he learned about his targets, he learned the weaknesses, and he went in and exploited them. And until he struck the killing blow, no one knew, except for one assassination where everyone knew. So yeah, for the most part, like for almost all of the assassinations, no one knew who he was before he struck and that is a huge achievement in my opinion so yeah but i would say one assassin who is even stealthier than him is the one who is next arno so arno is of course from a sanskrit unity unity stealth mechanics are broken and that's me putting it mildly like with the recent fan patch, things are apparently better, but I haven't been able to get it running. I'm still trying to get it running. But even if it doesn't, like the character of Arno, the way Arno works, you know, the canonical assassinations, the way they take place, it is very obvious that he actually prefers stealth over like going in and sending a message or things like that. He prefers to be a ghost. He goes in, he goes out without anyone noticing. That's what he likes to do. Like from the very first assassination mission where you go into the Notre Dame, you basically just climb down, you kill the target, you kill the guy he, our target is supposed to meet, go into the confessional chamber, kill him there, get out of there without anyone knowing, that's what this character is all about. So yeah, if, in terms of stealth, I would probably rate Arno higher than Altair, even though Altair is the OG assassin. So yeah, he is really good. Next we have Avalyn de Grand Prix. Again, I cannot pronounce her name. I just, I can't. I don't know why, I just can't. But what I can do is say that she is stealthy. In fact, she has one of the best mechanics in this entire franchise, which for some goddamn reason never got used again. So she has this persona. So she has three personas available to her, which lets her blend into different walks of life, different societies per se. She can be a fancy woman, she can be a slave, she can be an assassin, she can be anyone. Okay, she can be these three things. But the concept is she can basically go in and blend in with anyone. And she can strike from there. So yeah, in terms of her persona, in terms of that there were stealth mechanics in her game, yeah, she is one of the stealthy ones. Now we have Aminet. I mean, she has a statue in Assassin's Creed 2. I mean, do we really need to say anything about that? She is a legendary assassin. She literally has a statue <laughs> just dedicated to her. So yeah, she's up there. Now Basim. Now he's interesting because we haven't seen him as a protagonist. We know he's going to be a protagonist. 
I don't know if you heard that, but there are birds chirping outside my house right now. So anyway, back to the point. So he has not been a protagonist yet, but we do know that he is heavily focused on stealth. And even if you take like the boss battle, okay, spoilers for Valhalla. So he is the final boss in a, in a, in a way, like in uh, when Eivor actually goes and looks at the Yggdrasil. Yeah, Yggdrasil, yeah. So when Eivor goes there, he's the one who attacks him. And even in that, that boss battle, it becomes very clear that he's continuously using smoke bombs. He's trying to get the higher ground and surprise us. Like the entire guy is about stealth. So he's about, all about tricks and stealth. So I think he can be one of the best. Like he can go into STR, but so far we don't know that. We have seen him be a good assassin. So I'm going to keep it there right now. But yeah, he is one of those characters that when Mirage releases, he'll probably get the bump and become one of the most stealthier assassins. Now, Bayek, I would say combat is their thing. It's Bayek, yes, he's the OG guy. He is one of the founders of the Brotherhood. And yeah, he did do a lot in stealth, especially after he got the Hidden Blade. But he was still a Magi. He was a Magi first and he became the assassin later. So from that point of view, yeah, the combat was his thing. He's a protector. He's not really an assassin. He becomes an hidden one out of necessity. So yeah, his thing is combat. Now, Connor Kenway, just dumb, dumb, dumbest assassin ever. Like, who the fuck? Like, it, it, I think it was, this was even in yesterday's stream. Who the fuck goes up to a guy who are, you are suspecting of colluding with your target and just ask him, are you Bill Church's man? Like, what? Why would you ask him that? Like, at least, like, I don't know, tackle him or pin him down something so that he doesn't immediately run off like he did, obviously. Like, Connor doesn't think, just charges into situations, gets into bad situations, gets into combat, and honestly, the stealth wasn't really that great either. So, yeah, he's dumb. Let's just go past that. Now, we have Desmond Miles. Now, Desmond Miles... I'm going to say he's a good assassin. We didn't really see that much of Desmond Miles. And every time we saw Desmond Miles, he essentially was performing the same moveset as whoever was in the Animus at that point. Like when it was Altair, he behaved like Altair. When it was Ezio, he behaved like Ezio. When it was Connor, he behaved like Connor. You get the point. So his movesets were like, it was explained because obviously the bleeding effect, it was affecting him. And so it makes sense that he was scaring that he was sharing those skill sets with those assassins. It makes absolute sense. There's no problem there. But as for his missions though, most of his missions, except for the final mission that we play, like when we go into Abstergo, when we go back to where he came from, other than that, pretty much every mission that he's in, he is fairly stealthy. Like I, I, I don't think he actually wants to alert the guards because obviously if he does, that's a bad thing considering the severe disadvantages that the assassins are in it's obviously better for him to be sneaky so yeah he's a good assassin not the best because obviously we didn't see that much of it but yeah he's definitely a solid assassin now we go to edward the pirate and i'm gonna say the same thing combat is their thing look he can be stealthy like he took down an entire ship without alerting anyone canonically like, if you look at the optional sync objectives, he basically cleared three ships without getting, without alerting anyone. So yeah, he's clearly, he's good at stealth. It's not that he's bad. It's just that he's a pirate. He's boarding ships. It's combat is his thing. He's not really a stealthy assassin type. He becomes an assassin at the end of the game and even past the ending of the game. But as we play him, he's not an assassin and he's not really focused that much towards stealth unless he is in some danger and he needs to do it. Other than that, if he can, he'll probably prefer combat anyway, so I'm gonna put him there. Now we have Evie Fry. Now I'm gonna say, she's one of the stealthy ones. Like she's one of the characters in Assassin's Creed who I would put alongside Arno as one of the stealthiest characters. She's unfortunate that she has an idiot for a brother. I'll get more to that when we get there. But like, yeah, she's the stealthy one. She's the actual assassin. So yeah, she has good gadgets at her disposal. She can use them effectively. She has that mindset. And so, yeah, she's definitely among the best ones. Now I'm going to piss off a few people with this, but I'm going to say 
Ensio is a good assassin, but not the best. Now, look, I am someone who loves the Ezio trilogy. And I am not someone who likes the RPG games. Which should be fairly obvious if anyone has ever been on my channel. But just to make it clear, yeah, I am the old school Assassin's I am among the old school Assassin's Creed fans. But the reason I'm putting Ezio here, like one tier below the like, exceptional Assassins, there's a reason for that. It's because Ezio, especially in his older years, once he once the Brotherhood got some foothold in Italy, and even when he went to Istanbul, like he wasn't all about stealth anymore. Like, yes, he still used stealth. He was good at it. I would actually go ahead and say like he was one of the best at it. He didn't use it though. Many of his missions involved him being a lot more confrontational than he should have been. Like he could have easily avoided a few more situations and he could have easily been more stealthier. But I guess when you have three games and you and we can see that much of a person's life, we will see a few variations as time passes. But even then, like overall, yeah, he's really good at stealth, but also like he like burnt an entire naval yard. And you, if you tell me that there was no way to stealthily infiltrate a ship, I don't believe it. Like he's Ezio, he has so many tools in his disposal. If he wanted to get there, he probably could. It was a good set piece. It's a little bit frustrating for a set piece, but it's a good set piece. But also like, yeah, not the best in terms of stealth. Now we have Eivor Varen's daughter. So I'm gonna say again, combat is their thing. They are not really, she's a Viking. So she's going raiding stuff. Yeah, she can be stealthy. Like stealth was a part of the game. It was heavily fucking broken, but, and also like, she is not really stealthy. Like she's a Viking. Yeah, she uses stealth at times, but like as a character, she's not really about stealth at all. So. Now we move on to Haytham Kenway, and I honestly don't know where to put him. Because he's not really that combat focused. He is good at stealth. He is not an assassin. But he got trained by one of the best assassins, like with Edward Kenway. Yeah, I just said Edward, combat was his thing. But he became an assassin after the game. And he's the one who trained Haytham. And he's regarded as one of the best assassins. He literally has a statue built in honor of him in a more modern sense. Like not during Renaissance Italy, but more modern day England. So, but he still has a statue. So clearly he's well regarded. So Haytham got trained by him. He's a Templar. I actually don't know where to rate him, but he's good at stealth. Haytham still is good at stealth and infiltration because he got trained by the best. Hmm, where do I put this? I can't say bad at their job. Haytham is actually excellent at his job of being a Templar. And, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna put this here. Yeah, it says a good assassin. He's not an assassin. Okay, let's just make it clear. He's not an assassin. He has the skill set of an assassin, but he's, you know what? Let, let's change a few things around. Good. Stealth guy, right? All right, no problems here anymore. A good stealth guy. Like, okay, he, he's up there. He's up there. He's not as stealthy as Ezio. He's not as stealthy as maybe Basim would be. But he's about as close as Adwale was. So, yeah, I'm going to give him that. Jacob Fry, bad at their job. Really, really bad at their job. Like, his fuck-ups are what Evie spends up cleaning up for most of the game. That's Evie's entire game. Like every time Jacob goes and fucks something up, she's the one who has to clean, up, clean it up after them. Which would be really handy in real life for, you know, people like him. Or more specifically, people like me, because I am kind of like him. So, yeah, really bad at his job. Doesn't think it through. He has potential to have, you know, be good at stealth. It's not like he's bad at it. He understands the principles. And he understands the fact that, it, you know, he's he has a gang. He, he's like, I'm recruiting people for my gang and we will have this gang and we'll roam around London. There's actually some amount of stealth involved in that as well. Because if there are so many people affiliated with your gang, you can blend in with those people. And even though people will see you as part of the rooks, they will know, not really realize that you are in there with the crowd. They will help you get past many things. They can create distractions for you. So it's, it's a good concept that he has. He may not have thought that in terms of stealth, 
but at least there is something there. So I'm gonna put him bad at their job because he screws up a lot. Now we move on to Cassandra. Cassandra, I would say combat is a thing. She, she is a mercenary. She's never been an assassin. She never wanted to be an assassin. And if you wait for the video that is upcoming on my channel, I'm gonna explain exactly why she is not an assassin. So yeah, her thing is combat clearly. Like she has gone into wars. She has gone to actual wars. She has fought for areas. She has fought for local leaders. So yeah, she's all about fighting. So combat is a thing. Layla, I'm, I don't know what to do. She's bad at her job. Yeah, like she's bad at being a Templar. She's bad at being an assassin. I don't know. Like, yeah, Darby said that her character will be redeemed. I didn't feel it was enough of a redemption for her character to just like, oh, OK, I screwed up. I can't really go back uh, because I will die immediately. So let me just stay here and crunch some calculations with you, uh, dear reader. Wink, wink. So OK, that was OK. That could be interpreted in a different way. No, I mean the that the re reader is Desmond. That's what I meant with that wink. I didn't mean something else. Just let's be clear on that. So yeah, really bad her job after like not even a year with being with the assassins. I'm not even saying being an assassin, just being with the assassins, not even a year. And she's like, I'll always be an assassin. No, bitch, you just became an assassin like a few months ago. You were a Templar a lot longer than that. Like it doesn't even make any sense. So yeah, bad at their job. Now we have Havi. Now, yeah, combat is their thing. He's an Isu doesn't give a shit about stealth like his entire thing is combat so let's just keep it here now we have shay patrick cormac now this might be a little bit controversial for people but i do think he's one of the best in terms of stealth because a he has an excellent tool set especially with the rifle that he has he was trained to be a potentially extremely good assassin and you don't go and hunt down assassin unless you're stealthy yourself. Because at that point, the Templars were at the back foot. Essentially, it was swapped. The assassins were in, in charge and they were screwing up. And the Templars were the ones fighting back. And since he was trying to fight the assassins, he was trying to fight. He knows the tactics that the assassins use. To beat that, you need to be stealthy. So yeah, he's among the best in terms of stealth. Anyway, that's all for the video today, guys. Do let me know down in the comments below what you agree with, what you disagree with. Um, I was trying to get actually a parkour run done today and it's ready. It's already recorded, but I, I think I'll do that next week or maybe midweek, like Wednesday or something. So stay tuned to my channel for that. And once again, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you, you know, rate some people higher or lower? So let me know down in the comments below and I will leave you guys in peace.